Hello, hello. I am back with another video, y'all. Looking strong day today. She cut it up again. She got a little ends cut, so she just bouncing all the way around. I want to share something with you all about my natural hair that you might not know and what might wonder why I always come so excited about it. On my journey, um, before I became vegan, I used to have thinning hair in the middle of my head. I always had long, beautiful hair, but it was permed. And for some strange reason, I'm not sure why the middle of my hair began to thin out. Well, I wasn't sure why at that time, but I know it was because of my diet. Now, anyway, so I didn't know why it was thinning out. So I got up with this brilliant idea that I would get these little clamps. They have these little hair pieces with little clamps and there's a little bitty comb in it. So you put the little clamp in your head, you know, the hair piece in your head and you clamp it down. So I would put like three of those in the middle of my head because the middle of my hair was thinning in so much. So I needed something, you know, something right there. It was the perming, it was the diet, you know, that took a toll. And then on top of that, it became the clamps because the clamps, the weight of the clamp began to thin out my hair even more. I felt frustrated with that. So I cut it all off. I cut off all of my hair. Those of you that purchased my book, you uh, already know that I just cut it all off. Here's a picture. Oh, this is an old picture of when I was, of what I posted in my, um, in my book for when I um, cut my hair off. Oh, and here's one on the back, too. I could have showed y'all that one. That one more colorful. Here's one on the back when I don't have no hair on my head. But prior to that, and I pulled this hair this big, but I, this is all I could find at this time. It was on the wall, so I just pulled it off the wall. So this is me when I had some hair, right? Natural firm hair, dead hair though. So anyway, then I cut off the perm hair <laughs> and I started wearing my natural, you know, short hair and I would constantly just go every week. I was just cutting it off, cutting it off, not knowing what to do. And then eventually I started wearing, you know, it started getting a little thicker and I was like, I'm going to let it grow a little bit. But I was always afraid that, you know, that I wouldn't be able to maintain it. I wouldn't know what to do with it. And I would hear so many other black women saying, oh, girl, this natural hair thing, it's just work. And so I wasn't ready for the thickness of it because I knew in my mind that, okay, I was perming it to tame it because that new growth, you know, and the thickness of it would, would be so much in my head. Anyway, life is like a big circle, y'all. It's like a big circle. It's like <laughs> you go through things thinking it one way and then when you come back around the circle you should have a renewed mindset about things in life that's what this journey is really all about because now my mindset is so renewed my health is renewed now I'm in love with my natural hair and look look at this here I, I was in the bathroom this is really why I did the video I was in the bathroom and I was um you know just combing my hair and to see this here part here, to see this part here that <laughs> at its healthy state, the part of my hair or the part of my head that was not growing, that was falling, that I used to try to cover up with clamps, it's no more. There's not no wig, y'all. This is me right here. <laughs> so I wanted to just share this part of why I'd be so excited about Strong J. And I'd be like, Strong J is on her journey too, on her feminine journey too. Because I look at my hair differently. And I want to encourage you all. You know, it's really cool and it's sexy. I get it. I get what the weave can do for you. I get what the wig can do for you. It can give you another look and it make you, you know, look exotic or maybe sexy or this and that and the third. But I want to encourage you to take care of the natural side of you. The natural side of you to the core. Yeah, it's cool to get the wigs and stuff. I did it. I, I did it in front of y'all so y'all could see. Because I was bored that time doing Corona. But this is where it's at, baby. This is where it's at. When you rub, we rub them fingers through that natural hair. When you, when when this this natural hair get those that has that fresh scent, you know, from the shampoo, from the essential oils, you know, <laughs> man, 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 this is. This is me. This is me on journey, journey, going through a circle. 
but having a different mindset. Look at this. This is just so beautiful to me. So beautiful. So beautiful. Just that black girl magic. Yeah, other things look cool and all, but remember the foundation of who you are and the power you have inside of your own self. Your black girl magic. And don't give up on your black girl magic. Because your black girl magic ain't going to give up on you. Black girl magic will go back for you. <laughs> you take care of her. You give energy to her. She's she, she, she going to do what no other hair in the entire universe can do. She's going to continue to defy gravity for you. She's going to continue to shine because that's all she knows how to do. She's going to continue to bounce. She's going to continue to curl up. And she's going to continue to use all your shampoo and conditioner, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. She's worth it. She's worth it. She worth that investment for me. I'm so happy about my my hair journey, y'all. So, not in a braggadocious way, but in a way of, man, we came a long ways. And we almost, we almost back where we started off, at the length where we started off again. If I hadn't been cutting her so much, she'd probably be there. But it was still worth the journey. Take care of your natural hair, baby. You are beautiful just the way you are. Don't you let nobody tell you anything different. From my heart to yours. Be blessed. <laughs>